Companion species is about the connection of nature and culture in the joint lives of the human and non-human species. Donna Haraway is an author who wrote the Companion Species Manifesto to discuss the historical complexity of these relationships and how we live amongst each other. Please introduce yourself and your bunny human relationship. Hello, my name is Michelle and this is my bunny, Buysia. She is a Russian dwarf Holland Lop and I got her here in Champagne at a pet store. It was an impulse decision, but we've become best friends since. What did the process of getting Buysia entail? The actual process of getting Buysia was quite easy. I went into the pet store and a half hour later it came out with a bunny in a cage and all of the supplies. However, once I told my family, there was a bit of chaos as I was not welcome back home um, so long as I had the bunny. So I had to fight my parents for a very long time and eventually they caved in and I was able to bring her home under conditions. So had your parents ever had a pet? Did they understand the complexity of human and animal relationships? Um, my parents have never owned a pet and they are very against animals just because they think it is taking on another child. Um, I believe that to be a farce and I think that animals, if you get to know them and learn their routines, they're quite easy to take care of. And I've been taking care of her um, pretty much on my own, so they have not been involved. Can you describe how you and Boisia interact with each other? How do you coexist with each other? So my bed is raised high enough where her cage and her supplies fit under perfectly. Her cage is open 24-7, she's free roam, so it's, she's not caged up. Um, and caging up an animal I think is actually very um, unethical. And I think bunnies especially, a lot of people think that they can be caged all the time, but they can't. Um, so we have pretty similar schedules. We sleep at a similar time. Sometimes she's up before me. Um, but at that time, she's very quiet. She just runs around, roams around, does her own thing, and I do my own thing, and we coexist very well. How does Boisia communicate her needs to you? So bunnies can't meow or bark, so they find other ways to make noises. For example, if she is bored or annoyed or wants food or water, she digs, and it makes this kind of sound. Um, if she's angry or scared, she will thump, which makes this kind of sound. And when she's feeling extra territorial or wants to assert her dominance as top bunny, she will pee either on the carpet, your bed, or an article of clothing. Has your relation to Boisia developed in ways that you did not expect? Absolutely. Um, you know, sometimes your child raises you. So if anything, I think she teaches me a lot about life and animals. And I think she just thinks I'm in there for like the ride, like she's my owner. Um, she definitely thinks that she owns a lot of territory and she likes to claim this by peeing, as mentioned in the previous question. So I think our relationship is very much like she's top bunny and I'm just there to like provide her with food and shelter and attention. Do you believe that you and Boisia may have a connection or forms of communication that are indescribable? <clears throat> Absolutely. Um, I think that I can tell when she's nervous or shaky. Only me and um, one other person can really pick her up or like know how to handle her or put her in the carrier to get her in the car. Otherwise, with anyone else, she would run away or freak out. She's definitely a lot more calm and she is way more, I would say, comfortable with me than with other people. And I think we just like get each other. She gets me, I get her. Is there anything else in your relationship with Boisia that has happened that you didn't necessarily expect to have to do as an owner? Yes, so a couple of things. Well, one thing that happened that I didn't expect to happen was um, she bit me out of rage after coming home from a house filled with cats and she was very terrified. So I don't know if you can see, but I have a mark here and I have to take antibiotics for it, which I never knew was a you know, possibility with bunnies, but they, they can bite you if they are scared or angry. And two, I didn't know that it was possible to potty train bunnies, but they can be potty trained and they're actually very clean animals because they only eat hay and pellets. So um, they're very clean, unlike dogs, I would say. And I, in order to potty train her, I bought her a toilet and I would like put food around there so she would eat and then like sit on the toilet and then eventually be 
um, were able to get her to just use the toilet automatically so she pees and poops in that toilet. And then I also am planning to get her neutered. Um, it's really important for female rabbits not only so they don't like, you know, have babies, but it also extends their lifetime because a lot of them are prone to uterine cancer. So this extends their life and it also like cuts down on any aggressive behavior or territorial behavior such as like peeing on carpets, which Boise does do from time to time. But that will happen hopefully soon.